start recording. Okay, it's been months, months since I have played any Lemmings, but as I was very, very bad about streaming earlier this week, I figured, you know what, why not? I'll do a makeup stream today on Sunday. I'm not, like, asleep in the middle of the day or something. The thing is that I was falling asleep very early through most of the week last week. So that's a big part of why there were no uh, no streams. So yeah, this is part of something that I think I expressed at the end of Oh No More Lemmings, where I'm going to be going through the level pack Lemmings Redux, which was assembled by Sentinel Proxima and a lot of the other people from the Lemmings forums. I think mostly Sentinel Proxima, and it's a lot of levels from various versions of the official game. From regular Lemmings, Oh No More Lemmings, and all of these different ports that had different levels at varying points, and... I'm going to basically be playing everything that I did not play on stream previously. At some point, I do fully intend to play through all of the official levels that are noticeably different between the Amiga original and this game. Or, rather, between the Amiga original and other ports of the game. So this will be a good start for it. If we finish this, we'll do something else to round out the stream, but who knows how that'll go. Let me, uh, make sure that I'm clicked in here. Alright, so you folks... No, we don't want to do this level. We've we played that level before. Alright, so you guys can't see the level select screen, but I just hit F2 and it pops up like this nice little uh, dialog box that you can select through things. You don't have to use passwords in this, which is very, very nice because... You know, remembering passwords, who wants to do that? Okay, so this is the first one in the running here, I believe. A block from home. Let's get a look at this. This is a pretty simple level. It's going to be a little all over the place difficulty-wise, but yeah, uh, we're starting out nice and easy. We even get just 10 of everything, so there's a lot of different ways we can do this, and we need to remember to make a blocker over there. I also need to remember my hotkeys. Because, again, it's been kind of a while here. Uh, yeah, hold direction- yeah, hold direction to choose a direction to do a task in. One of the many features of the various engine clones that have come out over the years, including this one, Neo Lemix. And it is a very handy feature, to say the least. Uh, right-clicking on those just maxes or mins. Is that even a verb? Uh, maximizes or minimizes the release rate. Or fast forward. And with the way I play this, F's in the chat for the F key, I guess. And there's a bunch of these fellas who are stuck. Why don't you get yourselves out of there? That's right. Honestly, we could probably just nuke the rest of these chuckleheads, but nah, let's... Let's let them get to safety. Otherwise, having built them out of the pit would be kind of silly. However, I will show off that the nuke does restore the timer. Which is a thing that is otherwise missing from bombers in Neolemix. And we're gonna pop back to the menu between every level in order to facilitate making sure that I don't, like, have to back out at the beginning of another level. But, actually, we got a block here of three levels in a row that we can do that are all, air quotes, new. Starting with this, let's go to the moon. This is from the Sega Genesis port of Lemmings, which I regret to announce I do not own that, but I came pretty close. I... I considered getting it one time, it was at a disc replay for like 10 bucks, but I actually was a little hard up for it. I bought too much other stuff. And I didn't get it, it was in the box and everything. I should have done it because I would have loved to own that. And so to do things here, we're gonna... 
We're gonna attempt to go for a save everybody type of solution here. It's gonna take that dude a little while to get up there. Wait, did I place it? I'm gonna build just to be safe here. This level is very simple, but I do like the, the general idea of like build between all the little stars and stuff. It's it's a good idea that could be used for a far more advanced level than this. And honestly, we probably did almost make it a little bit harder on ourselves with this particular builder placement here. It was a little over precise, maybe. But, meh. Meanwhile, let's take a look at this little bit of architecture over here. I like the... I like the water and the crystal tile set. I like everything about this... This tile set. It looks very good. And let's go ahead and fast forward. <laughs> Don't forget to fast forward. It's, uh, a useful thing. Alright. Number 14. Another from Hol Holiday Lemmings. Cindyland. Cindyland. We only get seven of everything, which is such a weird number, but... Oh well. I'm gonna try this out a little bit here and see if this can be used as a delay tactic. Not like a perfect one or anything, I just... I don't want to use blockers if I can avoid it. You off early. Remember that you don't have to mash pause. It just it's useful in some areas in order to make sure that you uh as a timing aid, but you can just advance frames by left clicking. Again, this is sort of the result of me not touching this engine in a very long time, even though I do love, love Lemmings. It's a good game, good series of games, a lot of fun. It was one of the first video games that I ever played, and I think I've mentioned that before on the stream, and I'm not 100% sure how things ended up that way, but they sure did. Also, I didn't really have to do this, did I? I just overcomplicated things for myself, huh? Well, Oh well. And one more before we kick back to the menu. Darkness of the Royal Family. This is another Genesis Lemmings level. And I don't 100% remember how to do this. So we're gonna do things this way, I suppose? How many builders do we need to get through here? One, two, three, four. I'm not gonna. Uh, the guy's gonna turn around for sure. Five. I'm going to go back a good chunk here. You're going to build. Because we're going to do something like we, we did on Let's Go to the Moon, where... This dude is going to do that, and that was probably not well done. Well, um... Did, did they go through that? No. Thank goodness. This guy's not having a life here, is he? I'm absolutely way overcomplicating this because I just realized, hey, this is probably death. In fact, is it? Yeah, uh, D is our splat ruler. That's definitely death. Let's... <laughs> I guess we should really just try doing this the smart way first instead of being like, oh, let me get real fancy here and demonstrate any sort of strategy incorrectly.
Oh, that turnaround, that's... That is not what we call ideal around here. Try and close that, I guess. All right, well... Oh, fuck. Slightly surprised that I'm doing something like this on this level. But this is kind of what I get, because I was like, hey, yeah, I got this really smart idea. And it turned out to be quite silly. However, everything should run smoothly from here. Uh, for certain definitions of smooth. For very certain definitions of smooth. Well then, okay. Uh, can we climb up that? Yes. There we go, that's... That's certainly a method of completing the level. I should just have done this the regular way with the blocker and all that, and we would have saved ourselves a little bit of confusion. But it's too late now. Let's have a look at level 18 of this gentle rating called Lemming Toast. This one I remember being just dirt simple because sure, it's a one lemming level and the skill pack is a little bit compacted, but it is really not hard to figure out how to do this. Just do this. As low to the ground as we wanna. And yeah, I'm surprised that that took even over a minute, even sped up, frankly. I think the next level actually was one that we could have, yeah. All right. Where do you see lemmings? This one, you can only kill two. That is shockingly tight. But this is another level where we just get a large pack of skills. And we get this music, which I'm sure is not soft on anybody's ears. Uh, let's have a look at where our blast zone is here. So we should definitely have that. That place. I feel like that placement would not work in every Lemmings game, by the way. But I can't 100% remember if that is true. Also, we can let everybody out. We're... We're in a safe place now. Turn around. We should have the space to get in there. Uh, kinda. I don't think this is gonna be pretty, but. Hmm. Can we get a little more height? I'm going to try. Okay, that should be just enough here. Because I do have to do a little bit of frame by frame, which I know is, like, probably... Just everybody's definite idea of a good time, right? Just, oh, look, you're... You're obviating part of the puzzle by just going frame by frame instead of... You know, even... Even pause buffering is, like... More real to some people, I'm sure. And those people suck! On a human level, I mean, not necessarily video games, like... Don't complain, come on. Life is too short, right? This really is the... That really is a, a life's too short sort of thing, if anything is gonna be... In video games. Complaining about lemmings... <laughs> come on. Okay, what do we got left? 
One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So we're going to pop back to the menu after this one. Then we do three in a row. Pillar talking. They sort of screwed that pun up a little bit, but... Let's complain only a little bit about that, I guess. After I just said, hey, why are you gonna complain about lemmings of all things? Let's put someone over here, and... The way this is going to work is going to be fairly similar to what we've been doing a lot of lately. Alright, so I want to hope that I didn't fuck this up entirely and have to, like reset back to an early po earlier point in the level. I'm actually gonna have the walker do this, I think, which... The up key, maybe? Yeah, okay. You know what? That works. That's not my preferred method of getting a solution here. But... It is a good way to keep the blocker off of the wood plank because as you can see that's a very dangerous proposition to have that sucker go off there and we're going to go back here and we're going to start mining now this believe it or not this will be safe it doesn't really look like it but there's a couple of very very dark colored pixels of ground there That will fill that in perfectly. Or perfectly enough, I suppose. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Okay, so we should be good to go here to just let this guy out, and we'll pop this lemming. Yeah, see, that would have eaten through the, the plank there. We really just needed a single, a single plank of bridge there to fill in and make the bombing safe, but, we, but I decided to go with a little bit more. A little more elaborate, because I definitely make things overcomplicated in this... Uh, well, in this game, just in general. There we go. All right. Quest for Kieran. We get to do three levels in a row without going back to the menu here very easily. And to deal with this, we're given a very generous little care package. We get a climber. We get floaters that we don't need. We get a miner to get down this way. Uh, that's not as generous as I thought it was. Okay. Our skill set is generous. Our terrain is absolute boot. Now, do you have an, a place where you can... That'll do. That'll do, pig. We get you at the very end here. Actually, we have no way of cutting this bridge off at this point, so we're gonna have to come from a little further back to make sure we don't overshoot the exit. There we go. We're safe. See, nice and easy. Then again, this is the first difficulty rating of Lemmings Redux, called Gentle in this game, as opposed to what they usually are in the regular game, which... Yeah, alright, so this one is called Catch More Floaters. And the amount of capture... the amount of catching required is pretty low. This looks like it's just another straightforward old exercise in exercising. And it is. It is indeed one of those. So, 
if we let this lemming climb up the pole, that mother is gonna die, and we don't want that. So we can just break through by digging at the very edge. I'm not sure if that's the intended solution necessarily, but it is one that works, and that I just made that doofus a climber instead of making them a floater. That is real smart. So, I, we do have a little bit of wiggle room. We can let one die. I would rather not, but... I done goofed, so I guess I'll take this one on the chin. Later, buddy. Actually, I feel like I could have pro... Well, no, I don't have the basher anymore, so... That would be really not smart. All right, we should be good from here. This mining process is not going to take that long. I mean, it will make you feel like it because mining does go very, very slow. Because mining goes super slow, but it's not to be worried about. And we get our last of this little set of three here. Konnichiwa, Lemming-san. Yet another... There were a couple of... There, there was sort of this running thing with having level names in Japanese. Because there was one at the very beginning of... Uh, the original Lemmings, which we saw back when I streamed that. So... It just started to be a thing with a lot of the ports later on that they would include one or two that were uh, named in Japanese instead of English. I'm not 100% sure why it was done in the original game though, just to, you know, just to have a little bit of uh, level naming for some of the early parts of the game. So... I think we're gonna want like that. Is that gonna do the trick for us? Budge, I can't see this. Sh I can't see the skill shadows right now. So, um, oh boy, that's irritating. They're gonna run into that signpost and turn around. Thankfully, that is a very very strange uh, re result we have here, but most of it is due to inattention, so. Meh. I could probably have done that the other way around, where I did the miner first at the very beginning of the level and then built over the hole. If only I'd, if only I'd done the prep work for it, but I did not. Let's let these folks turn around, because we got to save everybody. And there we go. Pop back to the menu real quick and switch over to level 31 of Gentle Doomsday. Oh, the map for that one is beautiful. I love that. Help! The This thing over here. Looks like it's carrying a boulder and it's got a, a chain in its hand or maybe a chain to the boulder. How do you handle the letter H here? Well, first I start thinking of whose line. The letter H! <laughs> I hope somebody out there knows about that one in particular and is just laughing their asses off that I brought that up because it is pretty beautiful in a really, really dumb way. However, speaking of dumb, this level is pretty simple. It's not dumb. It, I love the look of it. It's, it is pretty great.
However, this part is a little bit on the eh side. I do think that when they they gave you this level on the Sega Genesis, which I think they gave you a nice chunk of time to complete it, like six minutes or something. Either way, a pretty long amount of time. These, a lot of these levels from the Genesis, which admittedly I have not necessarily been calling out all of. We, uh, Catch More Floaters and Konichiwa Lemmings on were both from the Genesis, and there's me screwing up catching somebody at the very end of a, a bridge there and having them use a bridge as soon as they drop, which looks very, very odd as a result. And wow, they can climb up that. Anyway, on the Genesis, there are 180 levels, in fact, not 120, uh, compared to the original Lemmings. So they add two whole bonus difficulties of original levels, in addition to a bunch of other original levels, to make up for the fact that quite a few of the levels are gigantic. So, technically, you're playing levels like Doomsday and... Uh, Darkness of the Royal Family and stuff like that at the very end of the game if you go in complete order, so it's very strange. Here we've got a level from the Mac port called Going Their Separate Ways. And this one is quite simple. It's really just you get uh, a bunch of le Well, first of all, let's save our first... Wait, no, 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 I can't do it like that. I'm sorry. Actually, it's very possible that I can, but I don't suspect that it's very easy. This gives you a lot more time. We're going to have the first lemming float because, of course, we can't make the second set of lemmings climbers. We have to get through this particular little morass by building. And we have other ways of lengthening the amount of time that we have to deal with that. First of all, by making lemmings floaters at uh, before they start dropping instead of, like, right by the ground. That is a very underrated mechanic, in my opinion. I feel like that's one of... If there's anything that can be said to be lesser known in this game, other than things that are just either glitches or violations of common sense... That is probably one that's way up there. Actually, that might... I suppose that does constitute a violation of common sense, doesn't it? <laughs> now that I think about it. Because imagine you're... Like, doing something. You're you're jumping out of a, a very high up object and you've got a parachute. And you open it only five inches away from the ground, basically. And yeah, you can tell that even with our efforts to lengthen things, this is a little on the tight side, so maybe they do intend you to use the strategy that I did here. And that is it for the gentle set, I believe? Yes. Let us move on. We've got Quirky, Zany, Manic, and Lunatic to go. Have a look at some of these and see. Alright, so we got three in a row here, starting from Vacation in Gemland. This is yet another Holiday Lemmings level. They give you a tiny bit of variety in the pack. And to deal with this, we have... We're gonna be sending one Lemming ahead. Okay, we can climb out of this pit very easily, but they cannot just do a quick step up. And let's check our Death Ruler. Okay, we're fine there. Death Ruler, not to be confused with Death Note. That's something a little different. Get Bashers. One Basher or one Builder to get out of there. So we can safely and comfortably bash through this. Uh, how's our drop height looking here? We should be safe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll the dice on this and see if we die or not. We do. Well, but let's back up a few frames here. Are you safe? Yeah, that that should be safe. 
My concern is, of course, you know, falling back there. But that concern turned out to be unfounded. And here, we want to build and we're going to dig to cut our bridge off early. However, digging cuts a very wide berth, so we want to be a little bit to the right of where we want to drop. Uh, where we want the rest of the, the, uh, the rest of our charges to drop. I almost said our cadre, that's... I suppose that technically you could use that term to describe it, but that is not the one I was looking for, and I think it has a much different, uh, connotation than saying our charges. And if you disagree, well, that's okay, too. I'm not here to... I'm not here to tell you how to live your life. Much. And that was stupid. That was very stupid. Uh, we want to not turn around here, so let's do this. See where we end up. Yeah, okay. We should be good to get out of here now, and yeah, that'll... Yes. Perfect. Perfect. We... Not so perfect. This is why I said you have to dig a little bit to the right of where you want to drop, because... Yeah, otherwise that happens. So, to do this, let's back ourselves up. A lot. Like, honestly, kind of like half the level, really. Okay, so that should actually be safe now, except for... Ooh, is this not a way you're supposed to do this? It's very likely that it's not the way you're supposed to do this. I... Alright, well, you shrug and you continue to die. Okay. Well... You know what they say. I don't, so things are going to be a little tough for me here, but... Um, is that a safe drop? No, it's not. Never mind. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Incidentally, if you do know what they say, feel free to tell me. Uh, it is kind of a riddle for the ages, and I would not mind having it solved on this stream. Or anywhere else, for that matter. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit on the harsh side, to say the least. Uh, I think that'll be good. Mm, that doesn't fill me with a lot of confidence. I wish I had, like, good, like, pixel vision here. I'm gonna pick up this... I think we'll be safe. Granted, this also means now that I have to... save a single builder... instead of a basher in order to get out of that hole, and I should not have hit fast-forward there. Going frame by frame here, that might be a little too far. Uh, that should be good. Okay, so let's uh, let's finish this up and let's get everybody safely out of the hole. 
And let's see how this how this all pans. God, I thought I heard him squish for a second. I'm starting to lose it a little bit mentally, I guess. I'm nervous. And here it is. This is the real moment of truth, everybody. Let's see what happens. And we are good to go. Oh, I goofed that one up pretty bad. And I did a solution that feels a little bit janky. But here we are. We are done. Done with Vacation in Jamland. And I think I said there's a string of three levels that we can do here. So let's see what's up next. Go for it from the budget Amiga version. This is a release for the Commodore Amiga, uh, whatever computer it was, A500 or something. But this is a budget release of it that excludes, among other things, the original uh, Cynosis themed special levels, which were a thing from the... F well, we've seen those before. You know what they are. I've probably talked about them when I streamed it, too. It it's been quite a while, so I don't necessarily remember for sure. But I'm going to say that I probably did. And so to solve this, we're going to do this. And I think that even then I may have a minor uh, like gap-related issue here, basically, of... Simply not going to have the, the space for this, basically. I think, I think we'll be fine, actually. I believe that to be the case. Though granted, I also have a feeling that I may be proven wrong. So, to facilitate in reaching the blue bar over there, which is going to be our major goal... ...for the moment, we're going to do this... and slowly get a feeling that we did this entire thing incorrectly. Because honestly, at this point, why would that not be a concern, I guess? So let's slow down the first two lemmings there, because we need space. We need space. We need some space. And I think we're still going to have an issue here. Actually, yes. Um, let's do this smarter. And disable the replay. And we're going to fast forward and we're going to have the last lemming in the crowd handle the rest of the hard labor here. This level is kind of similar in terms of its design to one from Oh No More Lemmings called Lemming Express. Except that the train moves a lot slower and it's a lot larger uh, to the side and everything. It is, however, a, definitely a solution that threw me off a little bit. But this should get us what we need. This should get us everybody alive. I didn't even really think about the fact that we can kill 10 lemmings here. But we can indeed kill 10 lemmings. However, that's kind of a waste. This next one, yes, this is keep all enemies out, which is basically just, actually, literally just a level from Oh No More Lemmings, but using a regular lemmings tile set. But I'm gonna do it anyway. This is from the Genesis le Lemmings. This showed up reasonably deep into the game. Uh, it's somewhere in Tricky, I wanna say. Where we have this adaptation of a level called The Stack from Oh No More Lemmings. Where it was sort of this instructive design really of, hey, here's an object that you have to dig through in order to cross. 
And it can be a little tight in terms of, uh, you know, position demand here. So we're going to do this. We're going to send up a second lemming now, I guess, to sort of mimic the, the tightness of the, the timer here. But we didn't even have to turn around. I'm kind of impressed by that. Yes, by the way, that I did say a tightness of the timer. Obviously, we don't have a timer here because Neo Lemix does not enable the timer by default. So for all the levels of the classic game that we did before, the timer was re-enabled in the level pack editor there. So, yeah, in the original, there's the time limit on this is pretty ferocious. Like, three minutes? I don't think it's two, but it's not exactly, it's not exactly very nice. Let's have a look at our level list here. We've got three, four. All right, four we can do in a row here. We start with the runaround. This is a PSP level with two lemmings, and we have to save both of them. By uh, getting a little bit of the runaround, I suppose. This, I recall being a little strange. Okay, I remember how this goes, I think. Okay, so... You bash through. This lemming on the left, the climber, is the one who is going to be getting the titular runaround. And to do this, we seal this up so the climber can go up. And we're basically going to be doing something like this multiple times. We seal here, here, and bridge that gap. In order to get this lemming to be going to the left to break through here. We get a second basher, of course, to bash through a bridge that we built later on. Otherwise, the lemming will just do the runaround forever. Which, I mean, can be amusing, but... Usually, you're timed on this, so... That is a bit of a problem. Regardless of whether or not you have to save both of your lemmings. And away you go, Chief. Turn around, and... Do your thing. Wow, we actually left a little bit there. That's kind of funny. Okay. Nice and simple. I'm sure the next one is a little difficult. A spot of bother. I re remember this one having an alternate solution that is, like, really ridiculous. Because I had to do that for a talisman, but... No, this is not that hard, I don't think. We have one lemming go up. Go this way. Alright, someone who's going to the left. Why don't you do your thing? That's right, I think the talisman that I'm thinking of requires you to do this with no builders. And as you have probably guessed, that is not easy because we need to uh, have turnaround points. And I think also the, that talisman precluded you from using... Uh, you had to save everybody, so you couldn't use blockers because there's no really effective way to save them in this level without doing that. However, I can do this. And also, I can mine under these traps if I aim correctly. There we go. That I remember from said aforementioned alternate solution. Is that we just sort of dodge these things.
We could let those two lemmings die if we wanted to, but I'm not feeling that today. Building the wall. You build into the wall as well. And as long as I just bash through this crystal, everything else will work itself out. Okay. I became concerned for a second, like, oh no, did did that lemming not turn around? Am I not gonna save everybody like I said I would? No, no, we're fine. Everything's fine, folks. I don't know that that's true. Level 9, Exodus. Everybody's favorite uh, thrash metal group. Getting a little bit of a shout out here. This is a re uh, replay. Is that the term I want to use? Replica of a level from Oh No More Lemmings called And Now the End is Near. And fittingly, we get some music from Oh No More Lemmings to see us through the end being near, I suppose. Now, I want to make sure that we don't build up to that rope trap. And we got to turn ourselves around, because, again, climber. We need to go a little higher than one bridge. Getting the precision on this might be a little bit tricky, because, of course, we can't see that high. But if we were just one bridge up, we would not be able to cut through this ground here. And thus, we would not be able to rescue everybody, and that would be a problem, because we have to rescue 30 lemmings out of 30 in this level. In fact, we would only be able to save one lemming in that way, and that would not be great. That would be a very, very poor score. Quirky 10 is the needs of the many. This is, of course, from Holiday Lemmings, as you can tell by this snowman up here. This one, I do not remember how to do at all, so that'll be great. I think it's Climbing Bombers. I think it is Climbing Bombers. And we have to just kill four lemmings at this uh, fall at the beginning here. Hey. said, hey, that means don't do that. Okay, so we can now start embarking on our little journey of discovery here. As we have to listen to that sound in the background, I'm sure that everybody is just pleased as punch about that. And by that, I mean they want to punch me in the face. Which, okay, I mean, I would prefer you be a little more diplomatic about it, but this ain't about me anymore, is it, right? If that, after that point. Right, let's get you up literally as high as you can go. Ooh, that's nice. That is very, very much more correct, I'm thinking. Actually, we shouldn't make that fella climb yet. We need to just bash through here and let this all run its course. And there we go. All right, so now we just start sending folks over the wall. I gotta wonder how many it, it's possible to save in this level. 10, I think, is a personal record. A personal best, a PB, if you will. But I could be wrong about that. And there we go, we uh, we saved 10. That is a, a record. All right, what's, what's here? Don't panic. We've done that before. Skip that over the wall, okay. 
This one, this is pretty simple, I think. Although, we can't just go straight over the wall, as you can tell here, because if we... Well, first of all, we have no climbers, but also... If we did that, they would die. And we don't want lemmings dying for no good reason, right? We want them to... We want them to die for a good reason or something. I, I don't know. Maybe you don't. I'm not here to judge too much. As we said before, you know, I'm not here to tell you how to run your life much. That should get us up there. Or it could just not. That's that's always a possibility as well. I'm going to back up all the way to where we started bashing. Can we even get in like any tighter than that? I don't think we can. We may be a little screwed here. I may have to do this a little differently. Or just, you know, push the matter with a second builder or something. I don't know. Unfortunately, we only have one more builder, which doesn't allow us to, like, do an angled thing here. Unless what we wanted to do was have two lemmings out, which is... Not a bad option. In fact, yeah, I'm gonna do that. And that's a problem. So we gotta, gotta redo this. Do as far over as you can get. Are you safe? Yes, that's safe. Okay. And thankfully, I was too busy focusing on that to worry about this, which actually kind of works for the better because that gives us more space to work with here. Man, you can just explode. Right, that should do the trick. And that should do the trick as well. Let's get out of here. Before I have to think any harder, because goodness knows that won't be good for anybody. Next level, Haunted Botanical Garden. This one is yet another Genesis Lemmings level. By the way, I don't know if I pointed it out, but look at the color of this dirt tile set for the Genesis. These are indeed the palettes that the that the Genesis uh, looks like. I think this is the only tile set where they did something like that for Neo Lemmix because it's basically the only one that looks drastically different. This level is all about finding hidden traps which here have been replaced by uh, standard steel traps. They they were boulder traps in the, the Genesis version, which is incredibly devious and mean-spirited and not particularly sportsmanlike. It's what you might call a feel-bad moment. That should be good enough to... 
get us where we're going. You know, good enough for government work, close enough for jazz. Reasonably similar to... Jeez, I don't know where that's going. I think we're good, though. This looks... Yeah, this looks like we got everything done. There's a lot of solutions to that level, and that is one of them. And it saved us everybody, so that's pretty good. This next one is one we've done before, so we're going to say meeting adjourned to meeting adjourned. And we are going to instead skip forward to Plethora of Presence. And there's a little string of three starting with this one that we can do. This, of course, is a holiday level. As if the name wasn't a dead giveaway. And... Kill one lemming here. I don't 100% know how this is going to end up hashing out. But, I think we're going to spend a lot of our time trying to get as close as possible for bashes, as we usually do. And trying to ask ourselves how we do a decent pit trap. We got two bashers, we got one miner, only one builder. We don't really have an amazing way of getting ourselves back out. We have... A bomber, and that's it. So, I guess... If anything is gonna do it for us here, we're gonna have to... Do something like this. I may be sort of jumping ahead a little too fast on this one, but... I think we can, in fact, like, get away with this uh, without doing that. And maybe, uh, no, no, we don't want to do that. That's okay. So, we're gonna try and slow this particular goofus down a little bit. And I don't think that's necessarily gonna get us as good as we want here because we're gonna go pixel perfect here. And yeah, they start dropping. Oh, uh, fuck me running. I'm gonna give this a reset. I've got a an idea. And I didn't want to do that. I I have realized that my idea is not very good also. That's That's not something you ever want to be stuck thinking about is oh I'm cool. However, we're going to give it a, we're going to take a whack at it anyway. Cuz I think we'll probably actually be able to pull this off. And it, again, another problem here is that this doofus is in the same place as the Oh. Fuck sakes. I Oh, that's a problem. That's a huge problem. Oh, that's definitely a problem. That will do. I don't like it. I don't think that's actually going to really do what we want to. But it's worth a shot. Let's see if we can make this work. I think we're going to find out that the answer to that is no, we can't, but again, it should never be seen as for not trying. If not, I do have one more thing at my sleeve that I can try. It's also not particularly nice, but it will, it will do the job under duress. So there we go. That worked. Thank goodness. We're... We're kind of doing it a very silly way, but if it gets the job done, it gets the job done. 
All right. Next level, Menacing. We've seen this one before, except you will notice Genesis Lemmings. This is the version from the Genesis port of the game. For some reason, this specific one is in the game instead of the usual... Uh... Also, for some reason, I still have the Amiga version of this song, and it sounds god-awful. I should probably, like, change that at some point, but I forgot before, so... Like, okay, it does sound more like regular instruments than any version prior to the version on, uh, with CD audio for DOS, but it still kind of sounds really terrible. Especially the fact that these sections are just, like, absolute... It's chainsaw noises! It's not a guitar! It's... It's really awful, and then you get the poorly mixed voice, and you get the... The, the little synth bits there with the... Bleh, 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 bleh. Sounds like an... It sounds like multiple anuses. Just... Multiple consecutive anuses. Which also sounds like a Cards Against Humanity card, but I digress. Fucking Cards Against Humanity. Do people still, like, play that? I remember that in the light of it coming out that the guy who ran CAH was a huge abuser. There were a lot of people who were still like, hey, yeah, let's, let's play the various online uh, ports, if you will of Cards Against Humanity, that appears to have disappeared in the intervening several months. And I cannot say that I, you know, am unhappy about that because honestly, it was always kind of bad. Like, there's a lot of people who were willing to look the other way on a lot of the really god-awful edgelord jokes because, oh, they're, they're doing a bunch of good things for the... You know, we're, we're trying to save the election and all this, and it's like... Yeah, you're, you're gonna... You mean to tell me that you think the guys who find Mecha Hitler and passable transvestites hilarious phrases are leftist heroes? Are you on crack? Among other things? Oh, here's a level from Lemmings to the Tribes, which is a, a weird game. This is called Mr. Lemmy Lives Next Door. That will get us off the subject of the drug usage habits of the Cards Against Humanity people. Even though it's technically not really about drug usage habits so much as me, you know, just apparently thinking... I mean... I feel like saying, are you on crack is one of those things. It's one of those things that's a little bit on... You know, the, the bad taste side of things, right? Just be like, oh yeah, that's what I'm jumping to, is you use this particularly hard drug. Anyway, this solution is untenable. So instead, turn around, parasol up, and let us go over the top of the level. I mean, they give us this workspace, we may as well put it to work, right? Otherwise, it's just space, and I've got plenty of that hanging around my room. I do not need any extra space. Well, actually, saying that, I probably could use some extra space. Some stuff I'd like to get in here, but... Space concerns. Oh, fuck. Fast forward to too much. Fix that. We should be good to go here. Alright, now, now all we have to do is mine to get through this chunk of rock. And by mine, I mean first we're gonna dig. Can you dig it? Yes! Yes, I can! Even though that's mostly steel, I can indeed dig it. With my hands, yet. But he, uh... 
yelling about him. Alright. Next level. One way or another. We've done that already. Get out of here. Tunnel vision. That is one we haven't done yet. That is... Is this another PSP? This is a PSP. Okay. So, this level, we have to have a little bit of a meeting of the minds here, right in the middle of the level. And, as you can imagine, that is not particularly a simple task. To accomplish it, we're going to go all the way to the wall, turn around, Realize that's not really the amount of space we need here. Back up a frame, bash through here. Thank goodness we have a bit of a wall back there. And we just have to do two things with this minor tunnel. And it's a little bit of a tough balancing act. We need to ensure... We're going to want to do it from somewhere inside the pillar. We want to make sure that they can get up there. And also that we have at least a tiny little cut up to this little box here. Otherwise, most things will be for not. Oh, I'm stupid. I forgot. I didn't. I didn't factor in my eight climbers. Ah, I'm, a... I'm the stupidest genius in the world. So we get a nice long mine here, right up until we get a lemming having to build here. Um, you have a position where you can do this, yes. Nice. The so things are going to get a little bit dicey here because we have to not allow lemmings to climb into these spike traps. Or for that matter, it's only gonna be the one. Oh, you got a Carl, <laughs> got a Carl Jr. ad and now you're hungry. Oh, that's, that's kind of a mood. I, I can definitely understand that. You know, get, get food ads and then suddenly you realize, geez, I could, I could use a, a chicken right now. A chicken, yes, that's how we refer to it when we're talking about food, clearly. Uh, <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, well, I mean, unfortunately what? What am I going to say here? Uh, we've done that level. Do, 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 uh, what's next? Long way around is Holiday Lemmings. Yes, okay. So this one is, well, if I say it's pretty simple now, I guess it depends on what the task readout looks like. Because it could be a complete pain with whatever we have, and... This is not striking me as necessarily the best thing in the world. We want to use no more than three bombers here. To get through a thin part of this. This should be a safe drop, in theory. Yes. All right, we're good to go. We're good to go. Turn around, turn around. Perfect. Now, we just do our standard sort of path forging idea where we have the, f uh, well, second lemming route. Fourth in this case. We have the fourth lemming, as it were. <laughs> go ahead and make a way to the exit for the rest of the crew. And that will do. In fact, do we only need the one builder? No, we don't. However, we can fix that with a builder. And I was worried for a second that this was going to be impat You know, impossible. Impassable. Not a good time for anybody involved, you know? There we go. 
That's what we'll call it. Not a good time for anybody involved. And I don't think it will be far wrong. Because they will all fall into a hole and they will die. I mean, can you imagine how far down that must go? Who even knows? That's our next level is the far side. We've done this before as well. So let's go back to the menu. And we've got three in a row here. <laughs> you made a level yourself that looks pretty similar. Yeah, that will happen once in a while when you're uh, designing levels because there's a lot of ideas already used in this entire game series. This level is called Emmings, no L, an E that stands for Emmings. That's a reference to a level pack that I need to see if it is ported to Neo Lemix. I can just press the arrow keys to change level. Can I? Well, uh, duly noted for the future. I guess I can just do that the, the simple way. Whoops. Thank you. I did not realize that that was even a thing. So that will be done more correctly in the future. Or more simply, as the case may be. Anyhow, here we get a task set that is not particularly making me feel super great about my life, but... Duffelup support to Neolemix. Alright, so that's gonna... That is going to have to be a thing that exists in my future at some point, then, I suppose. Because I did indeed love that, and that was the, uh... That was the big thing that really got me into custom lemmings stuff on a, an interesting way, other than I've always been sort of fascinated with toying around with the engines of games that I love. So, we'll be looking at that at some point in the future whenever I, whenever I feel like it, I suppose. Okay, I think we got enough space to do both of these. Pack it up, pack it up, pack it up, pack it up. And dig, and that actually... Ooh, wait a second. Shit. I'm backing up even further here, because that, I've realized, is not enough... Uh, pillar getting demolished here with our our the stack stacking here. Alright, so El Lasto over here is going to actually be down there, so disregard what I was about to say, but El Second to Lasto, yes, I'm sure that that's how Spanish works, is going to get this little group over here out of, um, hang on a second. Well, we can get everybody out there. Oh, shit. On a... Something or other. Um... So, the problem here... Is... That... I can't stop the... I can't stop our, our digging chuck here. If that's what we choose to go through with. So, reset time. We're redoing the whole level. Because, wow, that was a, uh, looks like both builders maybe needed, needed near the end. Yes, that is absolutely going to be a thing that is quite true. Uh, what I'm going to do here Actually, I'm going to just have the first lemming who turns around up here do this.
This should work out, I think. Although I get it. It has been some time since I've seen, like, what the solution to this level is like. It... It's very clear that I've completed it because I completed Lemming's Redux. I think I did all the talismans. I don't have a whole lot of recollection of doing the IMAT talisman, but it is garbage and awful, and that level is not good anyway, in my opinion. In my IMO, that level is not exactly my favorite. We are... We're working things here. Yeah, it's, uh... It's a piece of work, all right. And I'm not 100% sure how much you know about the talismans in Lemmings Redux. But... The talisman for IMAT requires you to save every lemming in the level. It's... It's pretty monstrous. I... If I did do it, I'm kind of amazed about the fact that I did. I probably watched a replay and agonized over copying it frame by frame. And by watched a replay, I mean I watched somebody do it on the internet. On YouTube, which would definitely be round the wheel in that case. But, uh, of course, the term replay is a little different in this uh, situation, because... A replay is just something you can put through and it'll do the solution for you, but yeah, I I don't have the replay files for those, but I know they're out there. This level is called Lunchtime, and it is a level on the Genesis port of Lemmings, but it's basically just a remake of an Oh No More Lemmings level. We're doing it anyway, though, just out of a bit of completion. And so... This one is one we might recognize depending on how many folks in here saw me stream Oh No More Lemmings. It was some amount of time ago, so I wouldn't blame anybody if they missed it, or anybody who's watching on YouTube who didn't know that I did that. Also, there's, there's a masher trap over there for some reason. Those big ol' crushing machines. If you enjoy Futurama, it's the Crushinator, I think. Oh no, I do love the the Genesis remakes of the Ono oh More Lemmings levels. It they're perfectly fine. They're in fact better than in some cases, you know, more than just perfectly fine. It's just more to be like, well, this is going to be a bit of a lull in terms of original content here. And I don't think I have a good position to start uh, building to the exit here. This was a bit crustily done in my... In my onion here. Oh, uh, well... We have minor leeway in terms of a kill count here, so we're gonna try and... We're gonna try and use as little of that as possible, but... We do have floaters to make sure that... At least a few folks can survive the drop, and I think it's gonna end up being... Completely safe. I do like to try and save as many lemmings as possible in a level... So it is a little bit rare that I will be here like, yeah, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna... Abuse the fact that I can kill three lemmings other than blockers in this level. I mean, I may think about it as just a, a security thing, but... Yeah. Let's move on to whatever our next endeavor may be in this case. Let's see. No choice but to follow them. This is yet another Genesis Lemmings level. This one, however, is properly original. And it's got this really interesting layout, in my opinion. 
if I remember how to do it, which I do not believe I do. So, uh, we bash through somewhere. We want to get in here, of course, because that is going to be our proper exit. Let's do a quick cut, and this should get us here, I believe. Because, of course, if we bash through here, it's another another death trap zone. Not to be confused with the death egg zone. That, again, is something completely different, although it does involve the genesis. Oh, shit. Oh man. Uh let's let's rewind a little bit and just do this part over again and Okay, that doesn't look like it closes. I think we're good to go there. However, we run into that stick. Um Huh. I didn't think that through. But with only three bashers... Well, this is what I get for not really looking at this level too much. I was like, oh yeah, that's... That's, you know, basic tier, but... It's a little less basic than that. So I think what we want to do here is, in fact... To do this... Not that. We want to go a couple of frames more forward then. That should, that should do the trick. Yes, like that. And that should let us... Uh, get into position correctly here. I don't remember my hotkeys for going back and forth frame by frame, so... I think it's somewhere on the number bar. But I don't remember. I look like I remember anything. No, I don't. Trust me on this one. We should be safe to raise the release rate, however, and just get going from here because it should be a simple everybody goes over this and we just bash to the exit. Yeah, nice and simple. Bit of an interesting little route you gotta take there, though. I actually do really like that. It's the option. Right, right, right. That's also a thing that I could just look at. Now, I'm a strong proponent of having good options menus, but I often forget to look at mine, so whoops. Uh, take care, sweetie. We've done this before. Island of the Wicker People. Old news. Speed Trap. This is... N well, again, saying new is not necessarily correct. This game is almost 30 years old, which is hard to believe. This is a time-limited level. This is one of the very few that we see in the pack, at least for a while. One minute to complete this level from the ZX Spectrum, from... Sir Clive Sinclair's unbelievably cheap, at least for the time, microcomputer in England. An amazingly long-lived long -lived machine, considering when you look at it in terms of spec, it's like, oh, that's... That could be more powerful, but again, it was an amazing budget option for a lot of folks, so it, it definitely earned its stripes pretty readily. Oh, heck. Um, I screwed something up here, didn't I? Oh, yes! Okay, this level is much less simple than that. Oh, yeah! Games on the... Games on the Spectrum are not exactly beautiful to behold, to say the least. They can be... Quite eye-searing, in fact. 
And so we want lemming number one there to dig. They are... As I say, when you when you look at the specs of the Spectrum, it's not necessarily the most amazing sounding machine. And yeah, th there is that. The sound chip is not exactly... You know, not exactly a, a beautiful sounding piece of kit there, but... For... For the price in 1982 f going forward, even into the 90s, it was a very, very readily affordable piece of machinery, and I can understand 100% why you would, uh, why something like that would not die very easily, because computers and video games and anything like that are all expensive as hell. And that hasn't necessarily gotten any better over the years. And that is not working either. So I've got to do this a little differently, I believe. And by that, I mean that is going to stay correct. And we want this lemming. Start digging as well. And that one. And that should be fine. It's not. Oh, it's because I released one of the digging one of the digging chucks here. As I've been referring to them. Safe? Safe. Okay. And this should be the this should be the winning run here on Speed Trap. This That uh that slowdown portion there did throw me off a little bit. Oh goodness, this is not good. Especially when I reflexively hit the wrong key. And have the wrong task selected. Shit. Oh, good lord. Wow. That is not necessarily something to make you feel good. That is harsh. How far into the game did that originally show up? Oh, wow. I, I've beaten this faster. Well... Yes, I used to be better at this game. It's been a several month layoff. This is one I've seen today, in fact. This is from Lemmings 2 once again. Tension sheet, good idea. And to do this, I... This is one where saving 100% is an ugly, ugly matter because it is a real... It's frankly, it's a bit of a nail biter when you do it the the hundred percent way, which is doable. But thank goodness in Lemmings Two. Uh, for those of you who do not know anything about Lemmings Two, and why was my pause not working earlier? For those of you who don't know anything about Lemmings Two, the game is broken up into twelve tribes that are sets of ten levels, where you start with forty Lemmings. And you have to save them across all of the levels in that tribe. I think I should have dug down a couple of pixels here. And you are given a small uh, compliment that you're allowed to kill in each level at most to... Yeah, they're, they're dying. That's... So we're going to actually take a full restart here. Um, So... Lemmings 2 wants you to save every lemming in every one of those levels unless you're forced to for a solution in order to get a gold medal on the tribe and the number of lemmings that you save from the previous level in the tribe retains and rolls over to the next level excuse me the next levels of the tribe so um yeah you can usually get a gold on this level by killing no more than one lemming. Which would be the one that's necessary for a bomber that we'll see in a bit. But you could get away with it. You can get away with uh, saving everybody in this level. If you time it just right. And doing that is not really an easy task. It's definitely something that will make you sweat in ways you didn't know you could. Which doesn't feel like it communicates the kind of idea that I want it to in this case, but... We're gonna back up a little bit here. We're gonna back up a little bit more. 
Did we get the right? Yes. Okay. So, that means that the climber doesn't die because we had the digger bomb. <laughs> Sweating like a hostage. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah. Uh, to make the path, you have to go under the level and you have to have, again, this sort of meeting of the minds, as I've said before, of the digging lemming and the miner slash basher. And it is very, very hard to time properly to save everybody. So, really, you just don't want to try. <laughs> that sounds so, so bad, but... <laughs> honestly, at that point, just let one of them die. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I'm at least saying that in the context of this game. Where they sort of expect you to kill lemmings once in a while for the greater good. <sighs> uh, what a conversation this is. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's just let this com uh, complete itself. Not worry about the whole race condition thing. I believe, I want to say that that's actually a talisman solution in uh, Lemmings Redux here. But I could be wrong. In fact, I I don't remember like most of the talismans. I'll have to actually look later. Uh, Izzy Wizzy Lemmings get busy. We've done this before. Cascade, we've done the... Oh, I haven't finished all the talismans. Yeah, you can see that the talisman here save 100 lemmings out of 100. It is one of the more well-known, I think, uh, back routes, but still one that I just keep screwing up, I suppose. Then there were four. I didn't finish this one, did I? They'll know. They'll know. Yeah. All right. So now we have to switch to this menu in order to switch difficulty as we go to Zany. And we get a couple of levels here that are from the Genesis. We get the bridge is breaking down. This is a bit of a breather after the end of the last difficulty, or it would be if we were playing through all of this in one go. But for the time being, it is primarily just a uh, little one of these where I don't remember to start doing my things correctly. Very simple little exercise here. This, I guess, is just to make sure that you've played enough of the game if you skip to this difficulty, because... While this is indeed the first level of Zany on Lemmings Redux, which is probably meant to be played by people who have played a Lemmings game or two, or perhaps even more than that, in their life, on the Sega Genesis, this was the very first level of taxing, replacing... If at first you don't succeed, a level that is far too wide most of the time to actually show up on the Genesis's limited level size without being severely cut down. So instead they give you this nice little original piece that is very, very simple. I think the time limit on it is like only two minutes too, so... They definitely make you feel a little bit of the tension, but it's not too bad. Temporary Peace. This is one that, uh, well, it's not that bad, but it, it can get to be a little bit messy depending on how you do things. I believe. And to that end, we need to build up to this big, nasty spinal cord. Or maybe it's like some sort of HR Giger creature's spine or something. You know, the, the bits that show out of the back. Either way, it's not something I'd have hanging in my house, that's for sure. Not very comfortable to sit on. Covered in green moss all around just as strange experience
Only giving it one star on Yelp. And that is going to put us quite high, actually. So I'm going to back up a moment here. That's much better. We need the lemmings to fall out at some point because otherwise, well, if it happens over here, that is super, super mega death. That is, that is Dave Mustaine and Marty Friedman. Marty Friedman? Yes, I, I almost thought for a second, wait, was Marty Friedman or Marty Feldman? No, Marty Feldman is an actor who's been dead since the 80s, I believe. He was in Young Frankenstein, though. He was, uh, Igor, or is it Igor? Well... That's Lemgor, that's for sure. That's... Hmm. Crud. Well, that is about as close as we can get here, and we don't have a miner anymore, so... Am I that out of touch? No, it's the children who are wrong. My best bet is to actually just bash through the bridge instead of mining. So, let's cut that off here. And let's do this. Unfortunately, that is as low as we can bash. It's a little bit too tight for us to... And in fact, I'm going to... Speaking of getting tight, I'm going to back up on this bridge a little bit and... get at the very end of things, just to make that a three bridge... You know, three hands bridge. A three dog night, wait. That's something else entirely. Okay, we should now be in a position, we have the miner, that is the thing that we need to sort this nice and easily. We can actually get as close in here as we want, and I do prefer to get in as close as possible, so I will certainly take advantage. And mine down, and all we gotta do from here is bash to the exit. There we go. This one is definitely like one that can start throwing you off pretty heavily. This is, uh, well, you can see what it did to me. This is very early taxing on the Genesis, which control style aside, I think that the version on Sega Genesis is actually a little bit tougher than the versions on the various home computers at the time. Done that. This one is one we haven't done before. And one where I haven't done a talisman, apparently. Whoops. This is called Lemtris, in all caps, because, of course, Tetris, in all caps. We get four of everything, fitting with the theme, of course. And we... Well, that makes us quite limited, indeed, so... How we're gonna do things here, I think, is... Do, 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 do. We're gonna wanna try to go over a couple of things if we can. Uh, we can cut through all four of these very easily with bashers. We're not... We're not here to try for the talisman, even though I should eventually get around to doing those, too. Let us not forget, we do have a little bit of wiggle room with bombers if we feel like that is a useful endeavor.
No, 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 no. That's not how we do this. Uh, that's not how we do this. Neighborhood. Actually, let me restart for the sake of making things a little bit easier on myself, and we're going to... Because what we're going to do is we're going to dig through the edge, and we're going to mine, and then we're going to start building over a couple of these. And so let's get things in place so we can do a, a bit of turnaround work. Uh, so that way we can uh, turn around there and... Just, uh, you know, so we can get the mining done first. So that way we're not sitting there like, uh, that bridge in the right position to let us mine up to it properly or, you know, mine down properly as it were. And, you know, so we agonize over things like that a little bit less. Just a little, though. Although seeing that, that's like Hmm. Uh Alright, so I'm going to actually change how I approach things once again. Alright, you shrug. Build. We'll send another climber up here then. To start doing things. Because you can see that's not terribly, uh... We've got a shocking quantity of relay... Uh, Relay, we, leeway there. Relay, relay. I almost said relay, relay, same thing. Yeah, no, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> My ability to speak is suddenly decayed quite badly. Hmm. And this is why the odds of me streaming under the influence of any kind of substance whatsoever are very poor. I already probably sound like I am to begin with. I'm not exactly what you would call a public speaker. Let's let everybody out, and yeah, we heard the... the, the clonk. And wow, our climber even turned around at that too, nice. There we go. Let's get ourselves to the exit. That, I feel, is decidedly not how you would... Excuse me. Decidedly not how you would likely do it in Lemmings 2. Although, maybe. I think Lemmings 2 gives you four of every task. Just as this level does. Allowing you to easily do something like that. But again, it's been a while since I've touched Lemmings 2, and... I think this was in Round the Wheels video yesterday, and even then I don't remember. Watch out, there's traps about... Compression Method 1. This one, I forget if we did this without the glitch in... My regular playthrough of Lemmings, but... We'll just skip over it, because you... There we go, there's a new one. No time for a detour. No time for much of anything with only one minute on the clock, so... We've got to figure something out to make this go as fast as possible. And to that end, we're going to have Lemming number two dig. And that should hopefully give us something resembling a reasonable amount of time to at least get a little bit started here. And in fact, that may not actually be what I intend to, what I should intend to do. Yeah, especially with that miner, that is causing some noticeable issues. 
Let's see who is the furthest back to actually make it in there. Somewhere in the middle of that pack. So, yeah, we saved exactly 50. That is an interesting wrinkle, to say the least. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for much more than that. So, let's try... Again, we have the... We have the space in terms of how many lemmings we can kill, so let us do a blocker trap there. And bomb now? I think that should give us enough time to handle this. See, our, our little lemming snake is not exactly the thinnest thing in the world, but that's about as thin as we can get it with the blocker trap. 20 seconds, you guys can do this. Come on. Leave it unfast forwarded for the tension. Do we cut off at 97? No, we don't. Thank goodness. That is not a hard level at all. I just goofed it the first time. Lemmy in the cold, cold ground. Yet another holiday lemmings level. What for you bury me in the cold, cold ground? Let's see what we can do with only five of three of our tasks. Well, I think I've got an idea as to how our basic course is going to be set out. For a start, we want the lower team to build up to there from here. Can, can we get there from here, Michael Stipe? Is that a thing that's on the cards today? I don't like this. I don't like our chances. We're going to do another restart here. That didn't feel particularly good. That should seal the pit. That up. Okay, so that's good to go. That is great. That's very, very good. A path to the exit is fairly secure. However, I think I'm going to want to mine. Yeah, we hear you over there. You, you go ahead and have your fun. Alright, so when can we, uh, when can we start mining? Because that's gonna be a thing that we gotta do here in order to let the bottom drawer, or door rather is the correct word here, in order to let the bottom drawer out properly. With this all set up, we should be able to just bash straight through to the right and complete this middle section here. All we'd have to do is cut through this little wall. With the size of this level and the amount of walking back and forth, I'm glad this doesn't have a time limit. This is reminding me a little bit of a level from Oh No More Lemmings, where you had that big runaround that all the other lemmings did while the main lemming went to do a task that was like just a little bit to the left of the entrance and like took a long time it was like bashing through a wall or something it was pretty early in havoc i don't 100 percent remember what the level was called so if i did i would tell you the name but i'd recognize it if i saw it probably
No Justice for the Hero. This is like one of the last PSP exclusive lem Lemmings levels, and this one can throw you off pretty hard because it's, well, first of all, you got a 97 release right here, which I think means you get 98 on the PSP. And it's very much, well, in addition to being wide as hell, it is a very strange approach to uh, what you do here. Everybody comes out. And now, if I recall correctly, I just saw this again recently. But I did not internalize it on purpose because I, I started watching Roundy play Redux again and I was like, okay, I'm going to have to defocus a little bit because now I want to go back and do these. So, what you do is you have the back lemming uh, dig through the floor and then mine through here, I believe, if I recall correctly. This may end up uh, panning out incorrectly, but yeah, you mine through here to give all of these folks a bridge up. Wait, no, that doesn't work. Sh shit. Because, do I have to put the bridge, have to put the bridge there? Um, that would make the most sense then, right? Yes, uh, restart. It would also kind of make sense why everybody is still going to the right, even though a lot of those were changed in Lemmings Redux. You know, mo very much to help flex the new feature for directionality in Neo Lemmix. For levels that could really have used it, or that it would add a little something to the challenge in a couple of cases, because... Relative to the original game, I feel like there were a couple of levels that were promoted forward in Neo Lemmix, or Neo Lemmix. Neo Lemmix is just the engine. Lemmings Redux is the name of the level pack. And see, the crew is going to come around this way, and they are going to be able to step up this block, which otherwise they could not. Meanwhile, the hero is indeed going to get no justice because... They're going to walk off this way, down the pit, and die horribly in the endless abyss of what may very well be space. Yep, there you go. Told you. That's a lot of walking. Let's check out the next level. I... I really do like that one. When did I save everybody? Was that... That was a talisman, wasn't it? I do not remember that at all. And yeah, you can see that we can do this a hell of a lot faster. But we just wanted to get things done. Flow control we've seen before. Lemming tomato ketchup facility. Twins, here we go. Here's a Genesis level. We get ourselves two lemmings to complete this with. And they have to go their separate ways. I feel that efficiency is just not going to be on the cards for this. Because that's not going to be something we can get up in a single bridge. This, however, we can, and that's good, because we're going to want to be very conservative with our very small skill set here. However, otherwise, the basics look pretty straightforward. Bash, 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 build, build, build. Two builders should get us across this gap, I think. Which is fine, because we need to requisition one for over here. In order to finish things. There is, by the way, a more complicated version of this in what I think is the Mayhem difficulty in Genesis. That has more than two lemmings, so you have to actually do something with this and turning around in that, I think. I believe. It's been a while since I've dealt with that, so I don't necessarily know for sure. Do not quote me on that very heavily, because... 
I don't remember for sure. Let's carry on to Don't Leave Any Lemmings. However... Oh, that's Nun Title. Okay, yeah. Uh, Nun Title, of course, being rather famous for its bizarre non-sequitur of a not exactly English-sounding title, but of course... There's about 50 in that version, you think. Okay. Gotcha. Um... Yeah, Nun Title, of course, being one of the more well-known titles in Genesis Lemmings, just for its bizarreness. Uh, obviously, that port was made by Sunsoft, who are very much a Japanese company, so occasionally you would get some very crusty translations of that variety. Just, you know, just classic, what did you... How did you get this wrong? Oh, right, because the language works very differently, and it was a very direct translation, probably. Again, there's kind of many reasons why my feelings about direct translations are not exactly positive, although there have been people who have been, you know, a little, a little more open about it, especially in a lot of the more weeb circles, being like, oh, well... This changes the whole mood of the... Somebody I follow on a social media website that is not Twitter... ...was getting very upset because the uh, most re recent Higurashi anime... Uh, ...one of the characters... Uh, ...in referencing someone's older brother... Uh, referring to somebody as their older brother, instead of saying Nini, which was the uh, version in the subtitles, or possibly even in a, a past dub, says big, says big Brother, and, like, this person was so very salty about it, and I'm like, it was like, oh, well, it changes the, the tone of the... And a character suddenly changing into what is, from that perspective, a different language does not change it? Like, if it's all translated and then suddenly that one thing is not, even though it can be, that looks a lot different from, oh, well, they just chose something kind of silly to replace it. I haven't been talking about this level because this is basically Here Comes the Bomb Squad, but a little bigger. And I got off on a weird tear about somebody's bad anime opinions. Oh, I bet I'm just a delight to hang around with. <laughs> sometimes I'm amazed that all of you, like, still watch this. Because sometimes... <laughs> I feel like I come off as incredibly belligerent a lot of the time about, like, just the stupidest shit possible. Uh-oh. Uh, we had two lemmings there, so somebody just, uh, just went squish. However, I didn't hear the sound effect that time, so that was very strange. However, we definitely have enough wiggle room to be considered to have succeeded at the level. As you can see, we are going to overshoot by more than, just a little more than double here. Very nice, very nice. Wow, I... That's a very fast record, I guess, relatively speaking. Pitfall has nothing to do with any old video game franchises, but it does have a very strange looking uh, spike tail thing here. And is fairly straightforward of a level, I believe. You fall straight in the lava? Let's find out. Yes. Oh, that's unfortunate. We don't want you to go over there, I don't think. Uh, let's do this. What do I have to go over the... Over the tail? Well... It looks like I'm... Probably going to have to, almost. Hmm. 
Don't like those numbers very much, Senator. We're getting real close here. So, we're trying to seal this area here. We're trying to extend this area to give this goofus time to work. And in fact, I think doing that ate into our time a little bit there. It sure, surely did. And I, I fucked up some other things here. Am I even going to have enough bridges to do what I'm thinking of doing here? This may not be the solution at all. Because... Mm, one... We're, we're going to need more than one to get up there. I'm doing this wrong, that's for sure. Because we got to save everybody, too. <sighs> I've just realized something, and it's quite silly. There's a tiny little thing we can use here as a holding cell. Correct? Mm, uh, it's not great, but it works. Okay, so we need to have the first lemming dig, too. Sheesh. That's a lot of... The surprising amount of hashing out here that's gone on to get to this solution. But we're almost there. Just gotta actually put it into practice now. I don't think we're gonna need five bridges to complete this. Or maybe, but five? Uh, I think we can get away with wasting one. have just enough to pull this off. There we go. Alright, and we are done with this level. That actually was a surprising surprising amount of a brain buster there. <laughs> I'm a little amazed that I got thrown by this this badly. Well, you live and you learn and you occasionally you occasionally have a a pretty crusty time with a level like this. Let's move on to, with a little help from my Lem. This is one more PSP Lemmings level. I think this one is from earlier in the PSP set than that last one we dealt with. And it is a bit of an oddball. Because we can't just climb straight up here. That's going to be a no-go. But we can't just go down this way because there's a uh, one of these spinning death traps here that I don't remember the exact uh, nomenclature for. So... 
so... All right. Okay, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. We're going to... We're gonna dig here. And we bash, bash. And have kind of an awful time with things because we don't have floaters. And I've just realized that bashing down to the exit is... Pardon me. Um... Shit. Restart, restart. I did not, in fact, have it, so... We do this. Pause, please. And... Uh, think for a second as to whether or not we're going to be able to go over this entire rock formation. I think we are, actually. Is that's going to cause a pretty big issue here. But we're going to see... This might take a bit, actually, this level, because... I don't remember this too well. Right, yeah, you're not going to have any trouble whatsoever with this rough terrain. So, reset. I know that there's ways to just back route this, and I kind of don't want to do that because, like, that's not... That's not getting it done. I mean, it, it is, but also... You know what I'm trying to say, I think. Two diggers. We gotta f hash out some places to use both of those. We can just do this and just just cheat, but I don't want to do that, like I said before. Let's have you start, actually. Still would have to form the rest of the path for this fellow. Excuse me, my throat might be getting a little dry there. Dig. Well, that's not really the placement that we want for that second digger, but, uh, but, but. You know, just, uh, bleh, bleh. um, dig bash. Actually, So this is like the first thing that I can think of here is to...
you know, bash through, uh, do this sort of a route. Okay, I... I just realized that I've walked into the solution here. We don't... We don't dig yet. We bash through here. I think I need to do this... Yeah, I need to do this from higher up. Okay, so... Otherwise, though, we do have the basic idea kind of gotten here, I think. If I can do this correctly, which I may not be able to. Of just bashing through here. Or digging through there, rather. Perhaps not that close, because that's going to... Actually probably be fine, come to think of it. So yeah, see, this is a, a problem because I didn't account for all of this correctly. A basic problem... So, what I'm thinking is that you would really want to be up here and be able to dig bash. But that isn't really going to be... You don't have that kind of uh, digging to deal with it. So... That presents issues, to say the least. This... Um, fuck, am I, like, almost there? I... Problem is, I would really need one more basher to deal with this the way I want to. The other option is actually just to, uh, you know, use the, the, the funky steel position here, which I'm actually going to show off a little bit in this failure of a solution here, because... That's not what I want to do, and you can see that that would present a bit of an issue for climbing, but it would let us get down easily. Um... Fuck me, running. Dig. Bash, dig, bash. Bash out, um... Dig. Uh, what's our death drop here? It's too high. Yeah, so that would not really be very tenable. But we should be able. We'll we'll use this because this is absolutely like a very normal tactic of you know a thing to care about. Dig into the wall a little bit. Do we have? A safe drop here. Um, not quite. Hell. That is not exactly what I was hoping to see. I think the basic idea comes across.
I've definitely solved this the intended way before, by the way, so... But I would definitely be, like, a little remiss if I deprived anyone who is interested in this game of at least a little bit of puzzling around with the idea. There. Okay, I think I've, like, accidentally stumbled into this. Which I've said multiple times throughout this entire stream here, but... I think this time I actually have got it. Because you see... Well, once we align this correctly... There... There we go. That should leave us with a nice even... Yeah. So we climb back up, and we have the one more basher that we need to get to the exit. That... I think that I actually probably passed this solution up earlier. That I was like, oh, that's not gonna work. And it turns out that it actually does work. Well, there we go. We did it the legitimate way. I can show off a glitch if somebody really wants to see it, but nah. Let's move on to the next level. Uh, that's just a regular Amiga version of it. This is another level from the budget Amiga levels, uh, budget Amiga, budget version of the Amiga release. Budget release for the Amiga, there we go. Called Lemming Lament. Let's get a load of this. Get a load of this. I actually don't 100% know what this is. All right, so we're gonna have to do some shenanigans, that's for sure. In order to make this a safe drop, so let's get out our ruler. We've got to get to, like, right at that little pixel of brick there. So we're gonna start descending every climber over the wall that we can. We're gonna have to definitely play it this a couple of times in order to get a little bit of feelers here. For setting this up right. So you should be low enough. We'll actually back up a frame there. Okay, so there we go. There's our nice safe drop. You burst through that just barely no. So we let this, we, uh, we let that happen. All right, can we, can we bridge this in three bridges? Well, maybe if we, uh, don't do that.
Because, of course, the trick here is that we have to mine backwards in order to make the rest of the path because we just don't have enough builders and we don't have enough horizontal purchase. Again, horizontal purchase being a very strange phrase to ever be using, but uh, if it gets the job done, I suppose, what else can you do except for use more strange phrases once in a while? And that's not going to be far enough forward, so we're going to redo this. Alright, so the last builder is going in there. The last builder is going, the galaxy is at peace. One day I really do have to do a, like, a Super Metroid randomizer. That should be fine, in theory. But in practice, we will probably be, like, a pixel short. Nope, we're fine. Alright, that wasn't so bad. I saw that task list and I was like, oh, this is going to suck, but it turned out to be okay. And we've saved more lemmings than that and gotten it done a little bit faster before. Interesting. Well, we probably... That's probably one where we knew how much we had to invest resource-wise and didn't just be like, oh yeah, here's 10 climbers. <laughs> Uh, we've played the Arkham level, Postcard from Lemmingland. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but Postcard from Lemmingland, like, the biggest thing that the NES had over the Amiga version was having this level be named Postcard from Lemmingrad, which is kind of great. But otherwise, the NES Lemmings is not exactly a favorite, to say the least. A lot of those. Cunning plan. Have a nice day. Across the gap, jump down. Here we go. Finally, something new for us. A Genesis Lemmings level where they are telling us to jump down, which I don't think is a good idea. But we'll see how bad the jump down is here. It is makeable, so there's that going for us. We should probably get around to sealing this gap, though. If we're gonna have a jump down. And that's not a good way to do it, so... Let's back up to... Here. That should give us enough time to make the gap a little more sealable and three builders should be able to get us across this hole full of nasty looking water I guess you could say we're making a bridge over troubled water here but that's not particularly oh that's quite unfortunate that's not that's sealed too so that dork is down there just by by, you know, just messing around. Okay, never mind. I think I... I think I actually do have to have the first one do this and make a ceiling bridge there, so... Four bridges should be enough to get across this gap full of nasty-looking water. You could say, we're building a bridge over troubled water. Har har. Har har. The joke is that I'm repeating my dialogue from earlier because we're in a time loop now. Da, 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 da. Uh, I think we really did want to extend that earlier, so let's actually back up and do this from the edge. This is why I would never be able to play this game on a console anymore. 
I would definitely lose patience without the ability to rewind. I'd have to be playing Lemmings uh, for Genesis or anything like that. Either through an engine clone like this, which I know the whole Genesis Lemmings level pack is out there, or I'd have to be doing it through an emulator that has a rewind function. Let's move on, though. We've done this. This is new. For play, this is... A holiday lemmings level with a slightly ribald, excuse me, slightly. All right, body, are you gonna cooperate? Slightly ribald pun in the title, and we get two minutes to do it. I've just become aware of the time limits, so I think. Oh, we get two in the most unfortunate spot. That... That sucks. Well, we can... We can fill in the hole, I guess, here, and... Are we going to have enough, uh... We got four. Yeah, we're not going to have enough to do that then, so... I misused that bridge. Well, that's okay. So we do this. The second bridge is to ensure that this doofus is safe. Or perhaps we won't need it. And there we go. I think you can get there. Yeah, we're real buzzer beater. We were at the last second there. I've done that a little tighter before, apparently, but that's fine. Uh, we've done that. Rocky Road has also been done. The North Poles. This might be our last Holiday Lemmings level in the pack, but it is definitely the last level of the zany difficulty when you play through the pack normally. So let's see what we've got to work with here. Something a little bit funky, no doubt. Is it W? There is a way to make just the walker do something, and W is the this toggle replay mode. That's not what I wanted to do. That's right, I was in insert mode, wasn't I? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the insert mode for replay in this is really strange as a an option. And in fact, I'm actually going to pop out of this for a second. And I'm going to check the options and see what we've got in terms of a hotkey for that. So, yeah. Uh, configure hotkeys. Is there like a select walking lemming? Cont left control. Okay. All right. Gotcha. And back we go. Remember, left control is what we do to do the do. And there we go. That should do it for us. And we can continue with this 
from there in just a moment once our buddy lands on the pillar. You don't want you turning around yet, buddy. Climb? Thank you. Things like this, you gotta not, uh... You gotta not abuse that fast-forward key too much, otherwise you will... end up looking very, very silly. Make that one float too, just to you know, secure things a little better. And you can see that, thankfully, because we're digging so close to the edges of these poles, there's a little bit of a uh, thing there to help keep this lemming from climbing back over the edge. It sort of makes me think of, like, a bottle opener or something. It's the path opener. And that should be a safe drop, I think. That's not going to be a safe drop that that fella's going to take, though. That's for... Sure. This. We don't even need to dig through the bridge. We managed to... Managed to solve this level with a tool remaining. Very, very nice, considering we're in the game we are. Let us head back to the menu and pop into that fourth difficulty, Manic. Opening on Let's Get Together. Yes, all right. This one, I don't remember exactly. I seem to remember it being very much like, well, one of those levels we played already, so. Yeah, we don't get a ton to work with. This is kind of conceptually very similar to that uh, that PSP level that we had just a moment ago. And so to make things a little bit safer for us, gotta do something like this. All right, so you go on ahead. Oh, I was worried for a second that that lemming was about to die. Because as you can tell, we have to... We have to do this without killing more than zero lemmings. And to do that, I'm going to back well up here. Oh, I fucked up already. Reset. Just because it's easier. You should walk over. Never mind. I guess I could screw this up less by doing it this way. Wait, no, then nobody will be able to get... I'm definitely doing this the dumb way, at least a little bit here. Start bashing. Now that the other lemming has turned around, and everything should be... Alright, we're safe to max the release rate, and we are safe to start building without anybody dying by falling off the edge over there. Yippee! Yippee! 
All right. A little simple if you just think things through a little bit, and that is our record time. That's actually pretty amazing. All right, Lemming Funhouse, we've done. If at first you don't succeed is quite the same as usual, except you can see that there's a couple of little steel blocks underneath the pillars. That is a new addition for, uh, for Lemming's Redux, which basically makes this kind of the third iteration of the level. It's basically just to stop you from bashing under the level for the talisman. And in fact, I don't really need to do it in that case, so we'll skip over it. Let's go to another two lemming, two to be saved, called No World Without You from Genesis once again. But things are going to be a little bit more complicated, to say the least. We don't need to bother doing that because... Actually, yeah, we do. We need a... We need a bridge up there. That should be positioned just fine for that. That would be a poor idea. Alright, that should get us there, I think. And this is yet another instance of dig then bash, much like let's get together, much like with a little help from my lem. And the, the trick here is pretty simple. This is, like, honestly really easy now that we've seen the idea in practice. Th this might be a bit of beating a dead horse. So, we'll do this. I suppose it's that or beating a dead lemming, but, uh... As it turns out, having only dead lemmings in the level will not let you win. Yeah, see? Very, very easy. It's just a lot of techniques that are kind of like mid-tier that are a little bit odd to, you know, that we've seen already. Seen that already, seen that already. Do, 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 do. Is this a circus? This is another Genesis level that is yet again a little bit on the weird side, I think. Uh, this rock formation. Excuse me, that rock formation, I do not believe, can be walked up very easily, but I could be wrong. Let's find out. Get these lemmings onto their comically undersized bicycle. Which is the first thing that I can think of with a circus that doesn't involve an elephant, and, you know... Elephants in a circus, that's just not really uh, a good time for... Especially not for the elephants. That's setting yourself up for something terrible to happen. I mean, do you know how big an elephant is? The answer to that is really, really big. Actually, I think there have been a very, very large amount of reported instances of elephants, circus elephants being quite violent, so... Something like that suddenly becomes a lot less funny. Whoops. That was not my intention. And speaking of not my intention, I don't think that I should have made it my intention to do this. Um, that is crud from crud town. I don't know how to fix this. Because we don't have enough builders. Elephants can paint. I believe I knew that, actually. Elephants can do some pretty interesting things, for sure. They have shockingly good motor skills with their trunk, if I recall correctly. Okay, we don't need anything to deal with this rock, but we do need something to... deal with this overall. This one, I can... I can definitely see this being pretty hard, because... Like, that has just thrown my, you know, basic solution into, uh... 
out of consideration here very immediately. Semi lurking, kind of busy today. That's fine. Do what you gotta. You know, we've, we've all got lives and stuff, so it's fine. So here comes a part which is going to, well, first of all, this is going to suck because we can close that, but here comes a big moment of truth. Can they get over that? Yes, they can. Unfortunately, this whole little group here just decided to all pile in there and we're, that kind of leaves us back where we were in the first place. I suppose I can shave a little bit off the top of this. And that cuts down our builder use quite heavily. Because as we saw, we don't need an additional builder to, uh, or an additional basher to get through there. So, this should cut our, we should, cut down quite heavily from this. We just have to make sure that we build as soon as we drop. We should have just enough space for that. Yes. Okay. So, basically with the engine updates from Neolemix, everything should work out a lot easier here. One, two, three, four. Yes, we're we're gonna be good to go. And Lemming just goes over the rock. There we go. Uh, that's the one that I just forget the solution to a lot, I guess, because, yeah. Yeah. However, that is our record time, so that's nice. That feels good. And here's Arg, My favorite level name in the entire series, but it's... It doesn't actually live up too much to that name. Unless you're doing it without, uh... You know, on the original hardware, basically. This is... This is in here super early for some reason. Another holiday level. I didn't know there were more of them in here. Steel block party. This, I'm guessing, is going to come down to some really crappy tool set, huh? Well, we only have one basher to do this. So this will have to go like this. Right, this is gonna have to be, uh... Thing where we start... Digging. Oh, crud. Um... Can we get a little, little more height there and start digging into the wall, basically? No. That's not going to do what we want, but I guess we can get a climber going because that's 
gonna have to be a thing that we do. While I try to figure out how we're going to... Have a, uh... I think we're just gonna have to start, uh... Gonna have to start bashing, really. Oh, this is definitely throwing me off a little bit already, so... You're not exactly wrong. But what I'm gonna try doing here... Let's see if I can't make the basher go a little lower. Uh, that didn't... that didn't work. That did not work. Shit. Um... Well... Crap. So obviously this is not going over right, but this guy is going to slap into that steel and just it's not going to work. Well, I mean, it sure looked like it for a second, but we got to get through this. And that's not quite, uh, that's not quite happening there, but it started to look pretty good for a second. There's no denying that. All right, so this might get us a few more pixels, and that is gonna be a lot of, there we go. Look at that. It's, yeah, it is tight as hell and twice as pretty. Assuming that this works, that's, let's get a look here. Yeah, we just barely scrape the bottom of that steel block. That is just barely enough headroom there. That, ooh, that's tough. Wow. That's good one, though. I, I can appreciate that. Although, wow, that's got to be hard to play on, like, a PC or something. Or even the Amiga. Upside down world. Seen it. Seen that. That. A Beast 2 of a level. This is just the regular version of Beast 2 of a level. Just a minute. The Gate Trap Lemmings. This is a funky... That is true. I could use more diggers and builders and stuff to to help fix that. So this one is not too hard, if I recall correctly. And especially, we've got a, a big giant screen here so we can get a nice, nice view of things. So we can basically uh, remember to... Once we... Uh, we're going to have to block over here and bash underneath the blocker through this chunk of wood. Having this wide view helps us remember to do that, basically, is what I'm trying to say in English. Or in any language, for that matter, but English is the one that I speak the most... Well... As close to best as I can possibly, uh, say there. So I think that digging down and then going across is, I think, going to do what we want to... What we want it to in this case. I believe this is a case where we basically have to do things simultaneously. I think this is how this works. Again, I don't necessarily want to be quoted on this, but this is what we are trying to do, and I'm going to run into a minor issue here. 
square. All right, so we gotta f got that filled in. So this should again work. You think there's multiple approaches to this? That could be that could be the case. And everybody's dying. That's not so good. Because again, we do need to save every single lemming here. I think that's about a good place to start making the release rate go nice and fast. Going over the top. Yeah, there's... Uh, depends on how much tools you've got. But you'd have to still save the blocker. And I think the release rate is otherwise a little too fast for it, but... Again, don't quote me on that. This is like the only way I know how to do it, so... Hey, nobody start dying. Damn it! They started dying. I'm gonna take a reset here, and... be done. Okay, so this side is like all uh, all arrow platforms basically. Uh, two, two digging chucks. Uh, one two. Okay, yeah, that that might be doable. I'm gonna give that a try actually. Now that you bring the idea up. Maximum release rates. So bashing through that wall should cause the lemming to drop. I can dig all of once. Point. I think I'm a little. I think I'm a little restricted on tools to do what I'm hoping to accomplish here. But this is one way to get that side done, I guess. Actually, this this lemming doesn't need to do anything. So I'm I'm being silly with that to begin with. Okay. We're going to try this again with me hopefully having this idea pieced together a little better. Well, we got a couple of lemmings in the exit already, so uh, that's something, right? So are you guys gonna be able to get into the exit uh, hitbox? Yes. There's a slightly unfortunate little issue here of all of these goofuses having a bad time.
But we'll just let them... We'll just let them go for now and come back to uh, fixing this up a little better in the next run around here. So that way I can show off the rest of this. Yeah, definitely building earlier is going to help us with that little issue, but we'll see that in a second. I just wanted to demo the rest of the solution real quick before we go in for our 100% completion there. I don't have a time recorded on this one as a, a completion time recorder. That's weird. So we can, we can replay for a bit here. That should be the right place to do that, I think. Yes, everybody's turned around. That is perfectly done. And now all we have to do is build this big guiding plank here. And yeah, that is not the solution to this level that I think I know about, so... It's definitely a case where you can do a couple of different ways with... Where you can do this level a couple of different ways. I'm curious about the build over idea. I've never tried that before. Yeah, digging on the right side of the exit? That's what I remember is... Something like that. But I definitely kind of screwed that up last time, so yeah. Most everyone you follow is streaming today? Wow, that's... That's sure something. Okay, so it didn't show me my record time until after I completed it. Gotcha, I was a little worried for a second there. Let's move on to some more new levels. Okay, here's one. Fall and No Life from Genesis Lemmings. Yet another really god-awful translation. I'll have to try that out if I if I do remember that, which hopefully I will. Okay, so doing this, uh, I'm trying to remember if I remember how to do this, and I don't particularly believe I do. So, um, can we get over there in two bridges? That's what I'm gonna try to do here. I think that's the position we want to do this from. Because we want at least some of these lemmings to land on the... Well... We want them to not do that. But... What we want is for at least some of these lemmings, if I remember this one correctly... And I'm not saying that I do... To land on that little stick in the middle there... In between the two, uh... Little gaps. It doesn't really matter how many because when we mine to the left, which is what we're going to end up doing at some point, we should have enough space that we clear uh, to get everybody else out of there. And I'm beginning to think for a moment that I'm thinking of the other version of this level. Yeah, because there's no way we're going to get over there to turn around, which is what I was thinking you had to do. 
Oh, we can save one. I No, we can't even do that properly today, apparently. Okay. So... Um... Mine into the stairs to get a turn point? Question mark? Uh... Well, that's just extremely deadly right there, so that's definitely not it. I... Ooh, this one I'm very lost on. I will not hesitate to admit. The other thing I was thinking of is, oh, do you go under these stairs and then... Well, even then you'd have to... Cut through this, it would not be nice. I think what we're gonna do is we're going to start tracking like the tenth to last lemming or so. You. And we're gonna try and build this last little bridge here at the very edge and do this in such a way that we get exactly Crap. Uh, well, we can do that at like number five, maybe? We need at least one lemming in there. Okay, this... This makes our lives significantly less painful. We're gonna try to do what I mentioned before, which is get over here in order to basically make a nice big turnaround for this one lemming. And then we can bash to the left in order to rescue everybody and yeah. It turns out this, that the solution was correct mostly, but I was doing it wrong. And there we go, that... That is tough. That's a very tough level in general. Also, I like how my record time for that is only point, point zero 0.06 seconds faster. Electric circuit. This one. Oh, I remember this one being fun, fun, fun. We're at max release rate. We get very few tools. Our goal is to just cut little paths in this little electric circuit, as it were, here to get to the end. Oh, um, that's going to present a bit of an issue for the solution that I was originally thinking of. Which was going to be to have the lemming at the back just sort of go up the way. Well, saying that... There's not a ton that is stopping me from having somebody dig in a position where we can be certain as to what direction the lemmings are going. Get the rest of the team caught up in a different loop. And don't Fall off and die, please. Oh, I gotta burn a builder to get across here. Oh, it helps if I don't have multiple in one thing. Dang it. Yeah, that presents an issue. I still really like this level, but whoops. Uh, I'm gonna... Take a reset, obviously. So... Dig here.
Okay, so we need that one basher really to deal with this crystal. I th think if we do this just right, we should be able to continue the loop. All right, back up. Oh, dang it. Dang it, Bobby. That boy ain't right. Am I even sure that I'm doing this right? Do I just have the wrong idea in general? Oh, who got... Oh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that noise is so... bit crushed. Oh, wow. Brutal. Excuse me. That's not it either. Okay, so, um, well, we basically we just need to make sure that we get onto that part of the crystal then. So we can try to pull that off. Uh, dig through there. Yeah, I think we'll be f Fuck! No, we won't! Uh... Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. We... If we place this correctly... Which I... Kinda almost didn't there. And in fact, somebody still got through that, that's... That sucks. So... You're falling, and... Son of a... Well, I can... I can build over that, I guess. Uh... I can bash into the crystal, but I'm trying to, uh... And by that, I mean I could if I had one more basher left. And unfortunately, I'm running into another issue where the sheer size of this train of lemmings is kind of ridiculous right now. Um... Digging bashing on an incline will always prevent anyone from walking past. Oh, okay. Um, that's actually useful to know. For the next iteration, I suppose. Wait, no, I, I might be able to get away with this if we can dig through this area perfect. Oh, right. Wait a second, what are you fuckers doing over there? Oh, they, they don't go up that wire, okay. Um, okay, so how'd they get there? They, they went through that, okay. Great, um... Pause for a second. Because that was completely unexpected. So shouldn't they walk through the... Wait a second. Oh no, because they go up and around. Right, right, right. Never mind.
feel like the tr a big thing here is just not to... Not to think about this... Not to think of this as a, uh... As an exercise in trying to separate anybody. That's what I want to say, I think. Because that is just going to end in tears. And speaking of ending in tears, so did that. So we really do need the basher in order to do that. I think we can get away with that part, though. Let's actually bump this fella's head, and we're going to try... We're going to try again to pull off a no justice for the hero sort of thing. Okay, that actually did seem to have worked, so maybe this is an extra... Fuck. An X or fuck, yeah. Um, that's right, this is... They drop down there. It's the one above that they don't drop down. Dig. You don't have a whole lot of time, buddy. It's gonna be a little tight. <laughs> yeah, I, I was wrong when I said don't separate somebody, but also... Like, huh? Shit. Is that not... Do I need to... Is that not tenable? It looks like there's a... Yeah, see, I'm trying to cover up... Like, there's... Oh, I guess there isn't a pixel of... It's, it's positioned correctly like that, so... We need to conserve the basher... ...for getting through that. So... Let's try doing it this way again. Let's see what we can do... ...in this neck of the woods. Yes, a quick turnaround. The other idea would be that we'd want someone to turn around at a different place. Which I'm now trying to figure out where that would be. I have to get a... Well, I guess we can turn around at the base of the hill, right? Let's try that. Length of the path the crowd takes with the digger. That is. Is what I'm trying to do. I just need to see what's. Uh, what is available in that regard, because. There will not do it. Because of the way that that particular intersection works, they will go like that, and path will stay about the same length, really. That should do that. Well, yeah, I actually... Wait a second. Do we even have enough space for, for doing that? Alright, you gotta go, buddy. You gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. Alright, I think we're going to come up a little short here in terms of uh, amount of space we need, but we got pretty close if we... Never mind, we actually did that. Wow. That... 
Once I realized, oh right, turn around at the base of the hill, this was much easier than I'd thought this whole time. That... Again, it, part of it is really that I haven't played this in a while, so... I'm quite rusty. Not over till it's over. Another budget Amiga level. This one... Uh, what's our task compliment? Is terrible. For... Builders. Take one to the exit, clearly. Um, climber. Start with. That's pretty obvious, at least. One climber. Dig. Do we then want the second lemming to... Speaking of digging, we're going to have the second lemming dig. Like, just right off the bat. Because nobody should get out of that pit, and we can then cap the release rate. We would have to spend th three builders to get up here, which... Oh, really? You... You doofuses. Ah, let's redo this. So what we're going to do, because four builders to get up to here is a bit of a pain in the ass. And by four, I mean three, because we need at least one to do this. We're going to have somebody climb later, turn around at the edge of this, and mine down. And then we're going to need to get through this. Or we can just go over it, maybe. Wait a second. I can't do that. Can I? I? I'll figure this out in a second. I suppose I could get up there in three. If I really stretch every little bit of these whatever these things are made of, these particular bridges, like plasterboard or something, I don't know. Yippee. Duct tape. Unfortunately, we are going to come up to a pretty serious issue in a moment of lemmings are gonna start Dying horribly from the fall, and I am apparently incorrect about being able to get this one going. Well, I suppose if I do it from lower down, and then if I use the, the climber to dig and build a little bit, things might be different. Where I want to do it from? I think that's correct. Yippee. Oh, somebody's going to die there, aren't they? Amazingly, no. But of course, we can't get up now, so... Let's try doing this, and... Oh, okay, ne never mind, I got it now. Uh, let's, let's refresh here. This is a similar situation to a level called With a Twist of Lemming, Please, I believe. So we climb. And we dig. We could have dug much earlier than that if we wanted to. And we want to turn around at the edge of this uh, with this builder. 
Which means we're going to have to get as low as possible. This is a little on the brutal side of things. Yeah, I mean, look at this. We're... We're in the air when we start building. That's... This is... This is pretty janky. I'm not gonna... Not even gonna kid anybody for a second here. This... Is so fucked looking. This... This has gone quite wrong. Do we even have to dig through that? I'm actually gonna do a quick reset. Because now I'm having a moment of, shit, do I need to dig through that even? <laughs> oh my god, this... This is something, alright. I don't particularly know what, but... It's giving me a good laugh. <laughs> Alright, do, do you guys die from a height? Yes, you do, but we can mine instead. We should have enough, uh, enough of that. And somebody's gonna... Bad time over there. Okay, so I think number three wants to... Wants to dig, maybe. Okay. Do that. We'll do this. Actually, is there a reason for you to do that? My little goofus should be safe over there. Never mind. Apparently your your box where you check for, for death is a little higher up. So we have to use, like, every pixel available to us here in the most exact way possible. Just like, okay, we're... Turn around here is going to be just impossible without a little bit of elbow grease. Why couldn't that be a little closer? Dang it! Fuck! I think what I need to do is not do that, basically. And we instead dig into pillar, turn around. Build a guide bridge over here. And then we go back over to this side. And we just... Do that. Yippee. So that was definitely a level. Um... <laughs> That gave me quite a bit of, quite a bit of confusion. But eventually we got there. <laughs> I'm almost sad that the stupid one wasn't the correct solution, but I suppose we didn't have the resources for it. Here's one, Prima Lemmings. This, I think, was something that was available with a strategy guide of some kind. Old MacDonald had a farm. This is... Oh, it's a level, all right. I... This... this one hurts me. It's... 
there's a lot to account for in this level. There's a lot to account for. So, if I recall correctly, we send our three floaters out, set up ourselves a blocker trap here. And then over here, we've got this, this thing where these three little stumps are arranged where this one is offset just a little bit to the right. Resulting in a situation that is basically like, save me, i.e. the second to last level in the entire game. Which is kind of disgusting that this is showing up this early. <laughs> I saw this the first time and I was like, well, after I got over the what the hell is that? You know, where is this level from? I've literally never seen this before. That initial shock. I kind of ended up just basically kind of kind of crapping myself a little bit metaphorically with seeing that this is basically a knockoff of the last level uh, last level of the second last level in the game which is one of the hardest things in lemmings like ever and also i have already done goofed on this because i need that bomber in order to break the blocker trap This level is pretty cruel. How do we... How do I deal with this? Uh, can you drop down to the next one? No, you can't. Well... That presents a problem. To say the least. I think what I'm going to want to do is get a nice little uh, guiding bridge up here, which should ideally be up to this stump and, you know, not letting you turn around and have that lemming block. Like, right by the exit, basically. We've got three bridges to do this with. Which I think should be enough to pull that off, maybe? Because, again, we need the last bridge to be able to build over the blocker over here. So... Alright, I think we've mitigated all of our... All of our death-defying drops here. I think. So we'll see how this... We'll see how this pans out in a moment, though. Well, first of all... A drop straight into the exit. That feels good. And they catch, and they are safe. Safe! Oh, that is... Not how I usually do that. But also, wow, this level is disgustingly hard. <laughs> like... It, I know it seems like I breezed through it this time, but I actually remember this one pretty well. And even then, I was like, oh, fuck, my solution doesn't work! And you can see we've rescued another lemming on here and we've done this much faster. So that's clearly not like the the, the pinnacle of lemmings ing. Race against cliches we've seen. Acrophobia. This one. Ooh. We can kill one lemming. This is a level from the Genesis. We uh we get a a pretty full kit here. Uh, we're gonna try direct drop. I don't think it's gonna work here. Yeah. The direct drop is, like, either really fucked for this level, or just doesn't work in the engine at all. I think it does, but I could be wrong. Um... 
So to make this area impossible for the lemmings to go up to the death trap, we have to use a bomber. And that is our one kill for the level. Crap, that's not what I want. Um... Take out our, let's take out our digging tool here and see if we can find a place where we can dig. Yes, there we go. That's what we wanted. We want to be able to dig from there, but down to steel. You're not going to turn. Neither of you turn around. Suddenly my life has become a little bit more frustrating. I also suppose that there is the distinct possibility that I can try uh, turn around here. I hide on that is going to be absolute murder. So that's not really uh, that's not what we let's Because we don't need too much to get across the, uh, to get across the gap here. But, we do need something. So at this point, they should all just go straight over the the bridge, and we don't have to have anybody else working on doing the. In fact, we don't even need that. I, that was a waste. So we'll just end there. In fact, that makes things a little bit easier for us by virtue of allowing us to. There? Well, wait a second. We again don't really get the height on that that we need, do we? Um, actually. Let's try doing something a little different here. Because we'll, we'll mine to the right into this big fat nodule here and land on this bridge. That should be a safe drop. Yes. Alright, so... That should work! I hope. Yes. Oh. Nope, they're... They're doing that, aren't they? Well... There is a fix for that. It's not pretty, but it got us there in the end. The solution to this one is very weird. The, like the actual solution. I just kind of janked something together from spare parts. There's a way to save every lemming on that level, by the way, which I think is the talisman, but I don't know offhand. Level can go to hell. This level... Watch your fingertip. This is a level that we haven't seen before because it is a Genesis level.
And we are allowed a kill limit of exactly one lemming, so... I think we're gonna want to do that, and... I think for this one, we just kind of go under the, the landmass. Oh, right. Um... That's what those four bashers are for. One of them is going to be to get through the, uh, the little gap closer here. Okay, that's a little bit not correct, so... Mine in a place that will get us better foothold. That should work. Did I build too far back? I sure did. Easy fix, easy fix. See, this is a precarious business. In that level, geez. Alright, now. Up. Uh, we don't really need the, another builder, so we can turn you around here. Because although this unshaded surface of orbs here looks a little bit suspect, trust me, it's actually quite safe. There we go. Ultimately a very simple level, but there's a little bit of, like, confusion not how to get started. It could probably have been a little earlier in the pack. Alright. 28. Out away from the tune. This one... Well, clearly they... Made this a little for style point as opposed uh, style points as opposed to uh, you know just just looks, but this one is a little bit on the weird side just in general. So, this one, uh, as you can tell, this is from late on in the Genesis game. It's a little bit... I don't know, what am I trying to say? I just, I remember this level always being a little bit on the janky side, and there's no way we can do this now, is there? Because we screwed something up somewhere. <sighs> yeah, this, this level is, like, shockingly irritating. And that is the basics of what you have to do with this level, is to... Like, you gotta pop through underneath the exit, it, or off to the side of the exit. It's... It's something alright.
so this part at least is straightforward, and I think... I think bashing through the the actual little orb part of each of these notes for any of them that we do have to bash through is going to make things a little bit more secure for us. Get all the way to the edge there. Is we're gonna need as much distance as possible on this in order to make this work. And as much height as well. Because otherwise we may not uh, blow through enough of the top of this little uh, set here to actually get into where we need to. And in fact, I still don't think we're gonna actually get where we need to here. I think I seem to recall that there is a matter with the mechanics of Neo Lemix being such that you need an extra basher to do this. As in, not as in more than you get for for the level already, but as in one more compared to on the Sega Genesis. Also, wow, I've been at this for a while. I just went and looked down. I I thought maybe I'd be able to get this done in one stream, but I am very, very wrong, clearly. I'm very, very rusty, I suppose. I mean, I know that already, but still. What a way to find out. That said, I don't know how we don't bash through all... If that's the thing, because... That's... Wait a second. We can just go... Well, we'd have to build quite extensively to do that, never mind. I was gonna say, can't we just go up through these? Not as simple as it sounds. Once again, excuse me if you hear any of those yawns, yawns, because I admit that I'm making noises that suggest that I'm a little tired, more tired than I am. Uh, that said, I am a little bit, a little bit run down. Fuck, that doesn't work either. Hmm, hmm. I got an idea actually. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, th there we go. Okay, I was just taking a really stupid path to get there, but now I gotta actually now comes the part where I have to round this whole bit off here. That going. 
I forget if I have to bash now or bash later. I guess I have to bash later, because... Yeah, otherwise we can't actually get through there. A couple more steps, right? Shit. Um, fuck. Let the last few lemmings come out all at once. Unless we do actually want to uh, build from the ground level. In which case, well... I'll have to go back further in my replay, that's all. Won't exactly be happy about it, but I'll just have to do what I gotta do. Alright, so we're at about the point where we should bash through there, and that should give us a little more... There we go. Yes, that is definitely something. There is some mechanical jank there, and that perhaps should... I don't want to say if that should be replaced, but... I uh, still don't like this this particular version of the level. Uh, the, the end result looks amusing. Let's see if there's any more to finish in Manic, and that will be it for today. Yeah, there's with, with a twist of Lemming, please. And there is nothing else for today, so... Or nothing else for Manic, rather. So, next time I stream some Lemmings, we will be doing a bunch of levels in the lunatic difficulty of Lemmings Redux as we work on our little sweep of all of this game that I haven't played on stream yet. So, see you all then. Uh, hopefully... I don't know if that'll be next week or not, because I might do something else on Friday, but we'll see what happens.